Welcome to my channel. Linksys EA 6350 Router Setup Step 1. Power on the modem, then, connect an Ethernet cable from the modem to the Internet port of the router. Step 2. Connect the power adapter to the router and turn it on. Step 3. Wait until the light on the router is solid white. Step 4. Connect your computer to the router's default Wi-Fi name. Step 5. Open a web browser and go to https colon slash slash linksysmartwifi.com. Or, if you are unable to open the link, you can use myrider.local or https colon slash slash 192.168.1.1, the default IP address of the router. Step 6. On the Setup Wizard screen, check the box beside I have read and accepted the license terms for using this software. You can also keep the check on the second box to report errors and diagnostics to Linksys, which is enabled by default. Click on Next to continue. Step 7. The updates for the router are enabled by default. You can always disable it after setting up the router. Click on Next to continue. Step 8. By default you can name your network separately. Enter the required information and then click on Next. If you want to use one name for both Wi-Fi bands, you can click on Give all my Wi-Fi bands the same name. Enter the required information and then click on Next. Step 9. Once the router saves the settings, you will be prompted to connect to the new Wi-Fi. Enter the required information to connect to the new Wi-Fi and then go back to the setup wizard. Step 10. Once connected to the new Wi-Fi, the wizard will prompt you to create a router password and password hint to help you remember the password in the future. Click on Next. Step 11. Your router is set up. You can print or write down the router settings. Click on Next to continue. Step 12. You can now create a Linksys server account to access the router remotely on your computer or mobile device through the Linksys app. To learn how to create a Linksys server account, click here. If you already have an account, click on Sign In. Thank you for watching.